we just got confirmation for this season's live event, and it's going to lead us directly into Chapter 4. Let's jump into it. The IRL FNCS Invitational event has been going on for the past few days, and it's brought a ton of competitive players and fans to come watch and participate. In a previous FNCS Invitational, they released the first teaser for Season X for everyone to view live. Some were speculating that they would reveal the teaser for this FNCS event too, and lo and behold, they did. Fracture, our live event on December 3rd at 4pm Eastern Time is actually our chapter finale. That means that this is officially creating our shortest chapter yet, with a whopping 4 seasons for chapter 3. That is insane, but it's also very smart on Epic's part. They've been secretly working on chapter 4 behind the scenes while we play chapter 3, so they could send us into it as a complete surprise. We've got a lot to discuss, so let's start by breaking down the announcement images. Let's first look at the one Fortnite posted. This image is the word Fracture on top of a puddle of chrome as we've seen with a lot of promotion for Paradise this season. This already tells us one thing, even though it is quite obvious. This event will be completely revolving around chrome. Yeah, yeah, I know we knew that already. I'm still gonna break it down anyway. Next image, which is a picture taken from someone at the FNCS Invitational, shows the screen that this teaser was originally presented on. This announcement is actually a lot different. Yes, the word fracture is still there, but this time, it's white, with rainbow reflections shifting off the sides of the letters. You can see some more of the rainbow reflection on the left side. Even though Chrome does give off a reflection somewhat similar to this, it still gives me heavy zero point vibes. It's probably just the white text, but the first thing that came to my mind was the in-between. Maybe our fracture leads us to the in-between once more, and we're sucked into one of the infinite realities leading us into Asteria, our chapter 4. Now that we've broken down the teasers, let's talk about what we can expect in the live event. From the start of the season with our Paradise quests and our cinematics, we know that the Paradigm blasted off into the Zero Point in an effort to find a way to stop the Chrome, which appears to be a nanotechnology. Organic and sentient, but still technology. We've heard several times in the past that Paradigm's homeworld has a strong relationship with technology, which is what qualified her to pilot the mech all the way back in Chapter 1, Season 9. And with Paradigm aligning herself to a specific reality, Reality 659, we can assume she flew off back to her homeworld so she could find a way to stop the Chrome before it's too late. With that being said, we haven't had a single Paradise quest since, and haven't heard a word about her. So, that means that she's going to make her return between the 15th, which is our final update of the season and could give us some more quests, and December 3rd, when the Fracture live event makes its debut. She may very likely return with a way to stop the Chrome, and for a minute, it may look like we finally did it and we saved the island. But rest assured, this is the last reality we're dealing with. There is absolutely no way Paradigm alone is going to be able to stop them. I'm fully expecting us to lose this battle, whether Paradigm gets help or not. And that's not only because this is actually our finale and we know that something big is going to happen leading us into Chapter 4. Paradigm aside, the Herald has been spreading her chroma all across Reality Zero and it's inching closer and closer to the Nothing Tree, formerly the Reality Tree. The Herald may use the Nothing Tree as a beacon to open a portal to the last reality so they can slide through and get to us once again, or even rip a hole in the loop barrier like the Cube Queen did in the Chapter 2 finale live event. Another option is that she doesn't use the Nothing Tree as a beacon, but rather uses it as a way to mess with the Zero Point itself. After all, this tree had a direct connection to the Zero Point last season when it was using its energy to power its growth around the island. This could lead into her using its energy to overwhelm the Zero Point and fracture it. We know the Herald is bringing forth the nothing in the last reality, and with her arrival leading us directly into another chapter once more, it's pretty clear that chapter 4 is going to be heavily based on the last reality conquering reality 0 and wiping us out. The Herald alone is causing an end to Artemis. That's some insane power. So it's safe to say the Herald is going to do some serious damage. I'll save the more complicated theories for another video, but we've already discussed a lot of possibilities, and we still have one last thing to talk about the name Fracture. It was speculated that the live event name would have something to do with the nothing, but surprisingly, it's called Fracture. But what's being fractured? Is it the island? Is it the loop? Is it the zero point? My bet is on the zero point, since the last reality's goal isn't to just break our island in two or free us from the loop. They want full control. So whatever the Herald is planning, it'll most likely lead into the zero point being fractured maybe even across realities. We've seen firsthand from the Zero War comics that pieces of the Zero Point can exist without being directly fused to it. 
The Zero Shard was even tossed around realities and stolen by different villains. So it's possible that pieces of the Zero Point are fractured off and that's a huge plot for Chapter 4. I'm personally hoping this huge fracture leads us into going inside the in-between and floating around there. The last time was during the Galactus Live event, so I think we're due for another visit. And that's it for now everyone. Make sure to stay tuned for more videos because there is definitely going to be a lot more to cover within the next month. You know how Fortnite is, once they release one event teaser they'll start doing more and more and it's going to get really intense. We're going to have a lot of teasers to talk about and we might even get some more leaks about what's coming up in Chapter 4 and the live event Fracture. I'm very excited to cover it all for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and stay tuned. So as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep it reaping.